In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to do a TRX hand walkout. So firstly, this is going to be working the muscles of the upper body as well as the core when you're walking out away from the TRX and back in towards the TRX. So firstly, this exercise vastly depends on where you've got your TRX suspended from. So if like me, you walk back with the TRX and you're either going to hit this or alternatively the wall, you're mainly going to be focusing on the forward part of the hand walkout. If, for example, you didn't have anything behind you, you can start walking out from the TRX and in towards the TRX. And you may have seen videos where people actually come into almost like a vertical position because as they walk back, the TRX starts to swing back with the handles, meaning the feet come higher and higher and higher. So if you're looking for that, all you've got to do is make sure that you suspend your TRX from something where you can walk really far behind the TRX as well as in front of the TRX. But I'm going to show you the basic version in this exercise tutorial. So when it comes to actually setting up the TRX, you can't have the handle height too low because then you're going to be really low with regards to your foot position in comparison to your shoulders. And you can't have it too high because it's going to be an absolute pain to try and get into the TRX with your feet. So I like to use the rule of thumb where I put the TRX handles in line or just below my knee. So if I bring my knee just alongside the TRX, it's in line vaguely or just below. That's going to be a nice position in terms of when I suspend myself on the TRX and have my legs completely straight, I'm going to be vaguely in line with the position of my shoulders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one foot now into the TRX handles. This is the very non-glamorous part of the exercise where they miss out on TRX tutorials and you don't get to see the hilarious trying to find the other side with your foot and trying to feed it through. So it does take a little bit of getting used to once you've got it on the laces. You're then going to come into a position where your hands are shoulder width apart. Now what we've got to do in this position is we've got to walk out and as we do that I'm going to try and keep my legs completely straight. So I'm walking out, legs completely straight, I'm adjusting the position of the TRX and from here walking slowly out, stabilize and walk back in all while I'm trying to keep my hips in line with my shoulders. Once you're done, bring one leg out and down, and you can repeat that for your desired amount of sets and repetitions. So every time you would walk out and then back in, that would be one repetition. Maybe try and use something like a mat, so where you walk to the end of the mat and then come back, and walk to the end of the mat and come back. You can also, as I said at the beginning, do it the other way, where you can start to walk back and if you've got nothing behind you, what you'll find is the TRX will actually start to go higher and higher and higher. So you can do this where if you walk back far enough, you can almost come into a diagonal or semi-vertical position. You'd repeat that for your desired amount of sets and repetitions, and that's how to do a hand walkout. 